Living Victoria Legal Aid Gippsland, Sarah speaking. Hi Sarah, how are you today? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Uh, my name's Stuart. Daniel just tried to call me. Um, he ca he's been using this number because I called you guys on it the other week, but this phone's dodgy. I just ca I was sitting here with the phone in front of me and I've got a missed call again. Um, I'm just wondering if it's possible to get a hold of Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Um, uh, you tried to call me before. Um, I'm supposed to be in court, and um, yeah, I'll, I've just um, had trouble with this phone. Um, yeah, sorry. Right. Have I got the right? Uh, it, this is Daniel that I need to speak to, isn't it? Um, regarding the matters at Sale Court today. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sorry about the missed calls. Um, that's why I don't normally use this phone. Sorry. Um, I'm on the video link for the court at the minute. Minute. You are, you're already on the link, are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm on top of all of that. I've made sure that I'm there so they know that I'm at least attending. Yes, if I can. Um, preferably, I've got my son in my care. It's just last time they didn't hesitate to throw me in jail and... I just, I've got no one to look after my son or anything like that. I just, if they can find well, me, whatever, I'll try and find a way to pay, pay the fines. It's just, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, well, I, 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 the only alternative we can really look at, Stuart, is, and you're in Queensland, so that poses another problem. So the court's going to have to decide what to do with you um, remotely if it requires you to appear in person. Look, that's a possibility as well so we just have to realize that that's the case here. it's but just that's going to be extremely difficult for me financially and everything at the minute this is because of well, these court well, hearings it's going to you're not in a position with the charges you have against you to really pick and choose here so what we've got to i've got to go over with you is just to confirm what your circumstances actually are so you're living in queensland at the moment yes I've got work on, but I'm gonna lose it if I if with all of this going on at the rate of it. What is what is your current job? I'm doing fencing contracting with someone, I'd, uh, and I was doing land management, but both of them go out the window without a license anyway. Um, that's very. Right. How my... much roughly are you earning a week as a fencing contractor on average? <sighs> well. When I can do it, my boss has been sick the last couple of months, which has been okay while I've dealt with court. Um, I'm supposed to earn about 1400 a week, but that's once work starts back up, and that depends on if I have my licence too. Right. Well, you're going to lose your licence today, so does that, do you anticipate that you won't have any employment? Well, I um, can still do stuff self-employed from home if possible, but yeah. Right. What have you been surviving on in the last couple of months if you haven't been doing the fencing contract work? 
Well, I, like I said, I've been doing land management through my business and stuff, but um, that'll probably go out the window. What do you earn from that? I was earning about 1200 a week. I could get up to, but yeah, with this I probably won't. I'll lose that contract too. It's just, sorry Daniel, all I wanted to explain is like, you know, with this, I've read through some of the stuff, it's only on Friday that I found out. I guess I needed to go through this in detail because it's all very rushed, but on Friday I find out that I'm potentially facing jail. Um, I'm going to lose my license, everything's going to get reset because the police, when they've re I'm facing two charges, you said, which I didn't understand. And one of them says I I had um, done drugs within three hours of driving, which just doesn't go with the facts. No, 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 no. That, that, that's not quite correct. Yeah. Sorry if I didn't explain that clear enough. Yeah, it just it, left it, me confused. It's not that you did drugs within three hours of driving. Oh, okay, okay. And then um, with the thing, it's like that. I'd like I said, I'd requested the evidence because I wanted to go over the conversations with the police. Because the way they've made it, uh, it almost makes it sound like I just jumped in the car, like with a joint in my mouth or something. And uh, that, I never did that. Like, is it, I, I get the point of what I get the point of what they're saying, and I understand that. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't have expected it to be in my system that long after. And that's why I'd asked for the uh, ratings. Uh, detail on the ratings because it never said any parts per million on there and it had an allowance for it. I just wanted to, some understanding of what I was being charged with and I'm none the wiser really. <laughs> so, is, are you telling me you want to change your instruction now? No, there's nothing I can really, there's nothing, I, I don't know how to argue any of that. Like, that's just it, and it's complicated, and I, I can't do it from here. That's why I tried to explain to you the other day. It's really frustrating having my hands tied. And all of this, like, the the whole with the other charge, with the recording in court, um, they're going to fine me for that. But, you know, the police brought false, false charges forward uh, all in an effort to make me look bad uh, because I asked them for... They said they wanted me to attend a station. All I did was ask for the rating and they said they didn't have to provide it. And to this date, they've never provided it. And now I've got a court record that says the police never obtained a rating from me, yet they sent me evidence saying that they had a rating. They just never sent me the receipt. They just sent me a Excel document that the officer had made up himself. And I guess that's what's concerned me. They try and make people look really bad. I'm not irresponsible. I'm a father of four kids. I've got a newborn daughter and I, I just want to be, try and help my family with, they're trying to move up to Queensland to sort everything out more permanently. Amanda came up to visit um, so that we could um, try and sort stuff out. And yeah, I'm sitting there looking at the fact that I'm, I'm you know, what does this do for my son and that? And I've never gone out trying to harm anyone. like. I, I just, I find it odd because the same court a few months ago heard a hearing with an ex of mine, Sally Tyranny. She tried to run Amanda over with a car and now she never faced jail or anything. They took her, they were going to take her license off her for six months and at the end she gets a slap on the wrist and they say that her foot slips off the clutch. She owns an automatic car. I guess I feel like I'm being treated really harshly considering I've not gone out with the intent. I'm not... Oh, just, yeah, I don't know what to do. This is simply how the, the law handles these kinds of matters. I don't know what to tell you. This is simply the system that we exist in. I just don't get how I can get injured at work and the state doesn't want to take anything up against my employer and leave me to rot. I end up with a permanent injury and... Right, I, you, do you feel like you're being treated unfairly in the I just feel like I'm getting a rough deal. It's not like I've been going out part, trying to party or anything. I, I don't drink. I had kidney stones. Yeah, I get this. I guess I'm just asking if if they're going to lay down a jail sentence, can it be sus, uh, a suspended sentence with terms and conditions? 
Really? No. So I had two guys smash me in the head years back and they got let off and never saw jail. They really, got I'm not interested in what you consider to be the hypocrisy. Yeah, I, I get that. Advice. So basically, one what, I'm just... Tr sorry, Daniel, I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm just trying to tell you where I come from. That's the whole idea with a lawyer yeah. is getting a background and I haven't had a chance for this. I've only gotten to speak to you from Friday. I've been banned from talking to legal aid for trying to raise the matter of all the corruption that's happened, trying to say there's a real Did problem here. For, for recording one of the lawyers without their permission and uploading it to YouTube? No, I recorded the lawyer to keep a record and I put it on YouTube so that I could share it to your office because otherwise it's very difficult to do so. Okay, fair enough. So I get it. No one likes me, and they'd rather see me in a jail. Fair enough. I, I just it's good. Look, Daniel, can you explain this to me? What I tried to clarify on Friday with you. Legal Aid said I was ineligible for representation because I'm not going to go to jail. Yet you're telling me I'm likely to go to jail. I'm saying it's a possibility. I it's, just say it's likely. I think it's a high possibility. I don't know what what so, is so the. You're making Yes, I get that, but I'm just trying to explain to you, in the past, in the past. Just trying to ask for a breatho reading, it ended up getting exaggerated. I got a whole bunch of charges thrown against me. I got set up to so that they could get a driving while suspended thing, and the court didn't want to hear a word I had to say, and they were more than happy to throw me away for three months. With no, I barely even got to say anything. Like, even with this, am I su if I'm lodging a plea, am I supposed to write a letter to the court or anything? I haven't really... I've, half the time... Yeah, been... You can if you want to, but you, you, you're not required to. There's certain factors under sentencing law that the court is required to take into account. The reason that you may have not felt heard is that the things you were raising were not relevant considerations under sentencing law. Okay, so it's not relevant, I have to care for my son or any of that. Okay. It's relevant, but ultimately there's other things that the court has to weigh up in making its decision. It doesn't just trump everything that yeah. the court has to consider. Yeah. Okay. It just leaves me all very confused and disillusioned at the minute, and yeah. Well, that's why you've asked for legal advice, and that's I'm trying to explain to you what the law is and what the court has to consider. It's... That's fair enough. Um, and so what the court does want to know about is just your current living circumstances, um, your income, and your prior history, and the reasons for the offending. That's all the court wants to know about. The reason for offending was it was unintentional. It was something I'd done the night before I explained that to the officers. That's why I was asking for the body cam footage to be able to least go over it because the police officers at the time ended up after I said that going well we could pick you up for up to a week and I'm yeah, like really well I didn't I was unaware of that it's not something I regularly do or anything and like I said it was a one off yeah, well, unfortunately that's not a defense at law yeah I'm not trying to defend myself I'm just trying to <laughs> that's just what happened I can't do anything yeah. else and explain what actually happened it's like, you know, I was. that's part of my questions were like, what is it they're reading? Is it the fact that I'm actually have cannabis in my system or just traces that say I've smoked cannabis at some point? It would likely just be traces. They're not actually alleging that you're um, intoxicated. They're alleging that an illicit substance was detected in your system. Yeah. Yeah. I shouldn't let stress get the better of me, huh? <laughs> <coughs> Look, in all honesty, I just, I'd, uh, this is the second time around having to start on my feet in Queensland. I uh, did quite well and then I had to come back to help the um, kids' mum, Amanda, move and everything because she was getting evicted. All of the children are in Victoria at the moment or just one of them is with you? One of them's with me, sir. He's always in oh, my care. He's, he's majority in my care. His mum homeschools him from Victoria. Seth, he's 13. 
or yeah. turning 13 in November. Uh, I'm lucky because of losing my job, my landlord's lenient. I'm on about 150 a week at the minute. Right. Okay. Um, and If they could, that would be good. Um, in the case of them um, requiring me to go to jail, is it possible to lodge an application for appeal? Only once they've given the sentence. So yeah, I, I understand. I understand that, but um, that's what I would like to try and do if possible. But of course, you're always entitled to lodge an appeal. If you well, say. how can I go about that with legal aid if I get locked up in jail? No, I, I understand it. Well, like you've said, it's there's a likelihood I could go to jail yet. I know. said there's a possibility, not a yeah. likelihood. Oh, I don't know. You don't it don't sound overly positive. Sorry, Daniel. But well, yeah. look, I have to tell you the possibility. Yeah. You've been to prison before for driving related offences, so I have to make the assessment that where you're before the court for driving related just um, offences. Um, sorry, oh, it's, it's sort of between the two matters as well. Um, with the other matter, um, you said something about they hadn't put in an application to destroy files or anything, so... As far as I'm aware, there's no application for forfeiture or destruction of your phone. Yeah. Is it just possible to notify that, um, I'd, you know, the original with that when Michael Cook was contacted was so that the... the it, it could be sent to IBAC, basically. Sorry, what was that? Uh, the the whole intent with that, it was, you know, I've been made out again to be malicious and everything. The whole intent with that was um, for matters to be able to be forwarded to IBAC because there's um, a meeting with uh, Michael Cook on that on that phone, so. Yes, well, it was, I was taking on three separate charges and self-represented. It's very hard to keep track. And when I'd requested to the court a number of times, which they've got email records of that, um, I was just denied without reason given, despite me explaining that it was the only way to keep up on the day. And three months waiting for recordings to come didn't help me on the day if I needed to do any assessment on what had been said compared to what was being said. So it just left me in a difficult spot. It wasn't done out of a malicious intent. It was just done because I needed to try and represent my case, which I wasn't given much yep. of an opportunity to do. Okay. Um, all right. Well, look, I think that that's all the information I need, unless you have any other questions before we try to get the matter heard in court. Yeah, well, I don't know. And just, yeah. Okay.
Um, yeah, okay, so um, they'll probably order a, it's likely, I don't know, they'll order a separate sentencing uh, hearing which I'll have to attend. I think it's possible. I, I'm not, I've not used the word likely once. Okay, sorry, possible, I, just framing of words. The police said stitched up, I said railroaded, but <laughs> we all say things differently. Oh, sorry, that, that's what I meant to ask Daniel as well. Who's hearing matters today? Uh, Magistrate, could Magistrate Holt. Sorry? His name is Magistrate Holt. 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 H-A-L-S-E. H-A-L-S-E. Okay, no worries. I'll, I'll just... I didn't recognise him and I wasn't sure if it was um, Tim Walsh who heard the no, initial... No. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess, just see what happens, um, uh, I don't even know where to begin with the, if, yeah, I don't know, I'm happy to concede to whatever the court wants, it's just a, I don't want it to be played out like, you know, I'm sitting here looking at court records that say no reading provided, yet the police have a reading, and I just want the facts on there if they're going to at least I'm not trying to argue this irrelevantly I just would like the right information there because it looks really bad to a person when it's overstated and I guess that's why I'm where I'm at at the minute <laughs> the, the way that the drug reading charge reads it, it doesn't sound different from any other version of that charge that I've ever seen it's not exceptional in any way Oh, no, I'm just looking at how they filled out the form. It just leaves out a lot of what we had discussed and what was on record. It's just very selective what they've tried to put there. Like the whole thing of noticing me, they hung a U-turn on a single-lane country road. But it, I wasn't pulled over because of my driving. I was pulled over because of the one. I certainly don't want to go into... No, I understand that, but it's... It, it was more, I was pulled over because of a warrant, not because of my driving or anything that I actually... And I know, I know, I know, it doesn't matter regardless, this happens, it happens. Well, that's about the best it gets, huh? And, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yep, okay. No worries. Alright. Thank you, Mr. Ailey. Thanks, Daniel. Catch you, bye. Bye.